Hi everybody, dear ABC Schoolians and listeners, wherever you are, we hope you're doing all well. This is the first episode of a podcast called Natural, designed for intermediate learners and above. Natural refers to the way native speakers speak in relaxed everyday situations. In each episode of the podcast, we'll be looking at six random expressions or vocabulary items before you put them in meaningful contexts. Most of the expressions we'll be working on are used in both British and American English, but some are exclusively British. So, bear with me for a few ticks to understand the idea behind the podcast. Only through constant exposure to a vocabulary item does it become part of your linguistic repertoire. We need to listen to a vocabulary item in various contexts so that it sinks in. This happens partly because we read or listen passively to the target language. For instance, if we were to learn today's expressions and vocabulary items by just explaining them, you are doubtless going to retain close to nothing in the long term. Yet, if we play with them in various meaningful contexts, we become active participants in this self-learning process. Our brains will retain more information due to the meaningful connections made available by context. Context, then, breathes life into words, so to speak. So, let's give life to today's words and phrases. Do somebody good. Or do somebody a world of good is our first expression today. We use this expression to say that something improves benefits or makes somebody feel better. For example, a change of attitude will do you a world of good. Of course, you can use the expression in the negative to express the opposite meaning. Moving on to our second expression, uh, which is to pick yourself up and dust yourself off. Uh, This one is used to talk about the way somebody recovers from a personal crisis and comes back stronger. For example, I wish my brother would pick himself up, dust himself off and pursue his dream once again. Our third expression on the list is game changer, which originated in the context of sports to refer to a hit, a goal or any event that changes the course of the game. For example, the last second goal was a game changer. Now, the expression can be used to talk about any event that makes you change the way you act, think, or look at things. For instance, joining the reading club was a real game changer for Elizabeth because that's where she developed her passion for writing. Something works out for somebody is our fourth expression. We use this one to talk about something that goes as planned or in the right direction. For example, staying up late will not work out for you in the long run. It will rather produce the opposite effect. The fifth expression on the list is be one's old self, used to talk about one's natural way of being or one's usual behaviour. For instance, uh, Bob isn't his old self anymore. Sometimes we use the verb find with the expression like in Bob's finally found his old self. To be full of the joys of spring is our last expression today. This one is used to say that somebody is very cheerful. In English, spring is usually associated with cheerfulness and youth. Be no spring chicken is then another expression used to say that somebody is no longer young. For example, my grandma is certainly no spring chicken, but she's full of the joys of spring. Learning today's expressions in isolation won't do you much good. So let's put them in a meaningful context. The following dialogue between Bob and Oliver revolves around the theme of establishing a new business. Themes are very important because they are the glue that make the expressions stick in meaningful and, most importantly, memorable situations. It's finally up and running. It's so nice to see things working out for you, Oliver. You must be very satisfied now. Thanks, mate. Been into software development since high school, so yeah, very satisfied to finally establish my own company. When you got fired, I thought you were done. You should have seen yourself sulking all day long. I tried to help, but nothing did you any good. At some point, I had to pick myself up, dust myself off, and find grit to start all over again. Uh, You do seem more like your old self now. Every cloud has a silver lining, I guess. Getting fired has turned out to be a game changer. Ups and downs, you know how it is, but one should never give up. Anyway, glad to see you full of the joys of spring. See you around, Oliver. 
try to use today's expressions in situations of your own. Well, that's all from us now. Stay tuned for more episodes.